Aluminum thermite welding. It may not be a familiar concept to many, but when you think of welding steel rails together, you'll instantly see the connection. This is one of the most unique and highly effective welding methods, especially used in large-scale projects where other methods may fall short. Today, we're going to dive into the aluminum thermite welding process, from its principles and applications, to its pros and cons, so we can better understand this fascinating welding technique. Aluminum thermite welding, also known as exothermic welding, is a process that utilizes extreme heat to melt metal. The standout feature of this method is that it doesn't rely on external heat sources like electricity. Instead, it depends entirely on a chemical reaction. In this process, aluminum powder and metal oxide are mixed at a ratio of 1 to 3. When the reaction occurs, the metal oxide is reduced to elemental metal, while the aluminum oxidizes to form aluminum oxide. This reaction generates temperatures exceeding 2,500C, which is more than enough to melt metal and turn it into a liquid solution. Imagine this scene, a stream of molten, glowing red metal, much like lava, is poured into the joints of steel rails. As this liquid metal solidifies, it fills the gaps and creates an incredibly strong weld. This process isn't just powerful, but also highly technical, as the weld surface is polished and smoothed afterward, ensuring seamless joints and absolute safety for the rail track. The biggest advantage of aluminum thermite welding is its flexibility and efficiency. Since it doesn't require any external power source, it's particularly useful in remote areas without access to electricity. This is why it's commonly used to weld large materials like steel rails, copper, iron, and even cast iron. However, this method does come with its disadvantages. Due to the extremely high temperatures involved, the welding process can alter the surface structure of the metal, potentially causing deformation. Moreover, it's a slower method compared to many modern welding techniques, making it less suitable for smaller, more delicate materials. If you've ever witnessed or experienced any other unique welding methods, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. We're excited to hear your stories and insights. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to ensure you don't miss any of our future content. Your support is what drives us to keep delivering more valuable knowledge. Thank you for reading and following along, and we hope this content brings you valuable insights and useful information.